RV resort versus state parks. You know which one I like. Which ones do you think we'll choose? And then we decide just jump on and do a quick 18. A quick 18. Maybe that well, was a little overzealous. But yeah. we did stop for beer, so really we took a nice break. That was a good but, ride. Yeah, it was. The bike's batteries lasted pretty good. Yeah. So what are you at? I'm at about 75%. Oh, wow. That's because you were pedaling. I was work. trying to get it working. He out. was, yeah, he was being a show. No, off. I was using more juice, so I think I'm at probably about 40 some percent. Yeah. 40. And then, Phil, where are you at? I'm probably at about. I don't know, 70. 60, 70, 70%. Yeah. Oh. And I'm at 40. Although, what's the capacity of my battery? Do I have a smaller battery? Yeah, you do. Yeah, so I don't. I'm... I don't remember right up top, but with the XP Lite, it's, everything's lighter to include the battery so you don't get the range yeah. in that one. Mm, that's not fair. Phil has a spare. So, so this is what will happen. If I run out, he's switching with me and I'm riding his. <laughs> yeah. We have been staying at Tiger Run RV Resort here in Breckenridge, Colorado. And our friends, Al and Ange, have been staying at Peak One State Park down by the Dillon Reservoir. So we thought now would be a great time to have an RV resort versus State Park standoff. Dun, dun, dun. So let's start with the pros of this RV resort. It's nice and level. Concrete, rains, and mud doesn't splash on the rig. I like it. And of course, full hookup, so we could have as long as showers as I want, and I can do laundry in the rig. Yeah, those are probably my two biggest pros. This resort also offers an indoor pool, two hot tubs, the laundry room, a small gym. Dog and, runs. Yeah, and so those are all really nice features to have if you use them. And yes, in case you're wondering, it is Red Friday, so we're wearing our red. That's right, and in case you don't know what Red Friday is, red stands for Remember Everyone Deployed. That's why we wear red on Fridays. Are you wearing your red today? If not, go change right now. We'll wait. A few other things that resorts bring you that you won't get at state parks is green. It's a well landscaped, maintained grounds, and you feel that as soon as you come through the gate. And yes, they do have a keypad to open the gate coming in. Epic views. That's what you get at state parks yes. most of the time. Views, wildlife, distance between RVs. Yeah. Another thing I really like, which is common in a lot of state parks, is the trails are right off your site. So you don't have far to go to hop on a trail to bike or hike. I love that. Yeah, and there's people down here enjoying it. They're yes. fishing. They've got up canopies. They're really enjoying the water. There's a lot more peace and quiet when it comes to state parks. Yeah. You're not usually right on a busy road. There's usually no train tracks, which is common at at private parks so these are some of the advantages and some of the reasons why we love state parks so much yeah and do you hear that there's no weed whacker or leaf blowers <laughs> or lawn mowers going through here of course we left off the number one reason why we love state parks and that is hands down the price yeah it is much cheaper than the resort we're staying in right now <laughs> Let's talk about the negatives of RV resorts. Of course, number one for us is the price. <laughs> yeah, we traditionally like to spend our money out in town doing activities. That is before eating. As, <laughs> including uh, yeah, eating. Yeah, including eating. But we like to spend our money out in town, not in the resort itself or the campground. Another negative is sometimes you're right on top of each mm -hmm. other where we'd like a little space. We don't want to hear what you're saying in your rig next to us. Or we definitely don't want you to hear what we're saying in ours, <laughs> yeah, yeah. especially on those days that, you know, things get a little heated. Do they ever get heated? Oh, they get heated. Yeah. <laughs> Never. So if you've been next to us and you didn't know it at the time, were we loud? <laughs> Got 
their troubles. Everybody's been alone. There's nobody here that could make it on their own. When your worries all around you, got you bad and you can't sleep. Listen, baby, and I tell you what you need. Can't feel no pain when your feet start moving. Just let loose and you feel alright. Keep it going all night. I, 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 come on, baby. Everybody, throw your cat away. Let's talk about the cons of state parks. Outhouses. So the negative is you really don't know what you're gonna get when it comes to facilities. You may have a full bathhouse, you may have vault toilets, and the same goes with hookups. Rarely do you have full hookups. Yeah, this one, nothing. There's nothing <laughs> at the sites. You pull in, you have a picnic table and a fire pit. Which, which is nice. Yeah, yeah. So another negative is not having a flat site. Yeah, the sites here are semi-flat. Um, and that's probably being kind. Another negative might be the fact that they are state parks, so they're more natural and they're not lush like some of the private parks. So they're not having landscapers come in. They don't have water to water the grass. It kind of is what it is. And that could be a plus though or a minus, I guess. Yeah, my negative, campfires, wood <laughs> fires. I don't know what it is, but, but it seems like when we pull into a state park, everybody around us is trying to light wet wood and they just <laughs> smoke us out. Now, I have nothing against a good wood fire. I love it, but I don't like when they smoke me out. If you're out there and you're trying to light wet wood and you're sending up smoke signals, letting everybody know that you got wet wood, try again. Give up. Just let it go. <laughs> <laughs> it's buy not going to happen. Buy a propane pit. <laughs> What a great stay we had. <laughs> I wasn't ready. <laughs> I know. And we figured we should fill you in on what our favorite choice is, resorts or state parks. Yes. And that's the answer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we, we like them both for different reasons. Um, obviously, full hookups, being able to do laundry is a plus. State parks, being able to save a little money, a little nature a little bit. Yeah. Um, so they have pros and cons, and we like them both. And nine times out of ten, we will choose state parks, but there are plenty of times where we will choose the full hookups, the resorts, or you could call it the private campgrounds instead of state parks. So really, it just depends on how you RV and what state you're in, what's around you, and what's going on at the time. Yeah, and there's no right or wrong answer to this. I mean, it's your style, your preference. Yep. Um, you know, we like a little bit of both. I mean, it's like going out to eat. She likes seafood. I like chicken. You know, it's personal preference. <laughs> yeah, he's boring. I'm not. You know, whatever you prefer. We know that's not right. All right. So, of course, we want to know, what do you choose nine out of ten times? Will you choose a state park over a private campground? Are you all about full hookups? Because there's not a right or wrong answer. But we would love to find out from you guys what you choose when you're making your reservations. Yeah, and don't forget to put the why. If you choose state parks, put the why. Why do you prefer them um, nine times out of ten? All right, guys, we are headed to Steamboat Springs from here. So that will be the next video that's coming out. And hold on for the big truck that we have some big stuff coming up, including a channel-wide meetup and a whole bunch of other stuff. So if you want to be informed of that, you have to join the newsletter because it won't be announced in the video. So if you haven't joined our newsletter, there will be a link down below. Make sure you join that because you will miss out on all kind of stuff if you don't including these snazzy shirts we're wearing. Oh yeah, that's so, right. Our yeah. new active, ac what are they, what? adventure tees. I yeah. don't even know what to fun, call them. Fun tees. So, um, so far they've been a big hit. If you haven't seen them or don't know where to go, Stacy will put the link that's for right. that right down there. All right, hopefully one day we'll see you on, on the, the road. road.